Thank you for joining this quick how-to screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. To see more content like this, hit subscribe. So let's say you want to count the number of records and store that number somewhere. Maybe you have an account and you want to store the number of invoices or opportunities or something like that. Well, there's a feature called Roll Up Summary Field. So you could go to the account object, you could create a new field, you could create a Roll Up Summary Field. You give it a name and then you pick which object you'd like to count. Now, not all of the related objects are gonna show up here. It really has to do with the type of relationship between the two objects. But if your object does show up, then you can decide, do I wanna just count all of the records or do I wanna summarize some value within those records? So for example, do I wanna see how many opportunities or do I wanna total the amount of all the closed opportunities. So you can even add filters for all the records or just some records that meet a condition. But here I'll make it real simple and I'll just say count up all of the related opportunities. And there you go, I have six related opportunities in my roll up summary field. And if I zoom through creating another opportunity and I go back, we have seven. Now that's one way to do it. The other way is to use an automation rule to count up anything you want and then put that number wherever you like. And so flows are very, very flexible. You could schedule a flow to run every day or once a week, or you could have it fire any time a record is created or edited. But in my case, this flow is scheduled to run daily. It runs through all the related opportunities. It loops through each one that it found and it increments a counter by one. And then at the end of the loop, I take that value and I update the account and that's it. And so when I run the automation rule, you'll see it acts very much like a roll up summary field. So I didn't go into the details of all the little steps within the flow, but you should know that if a roll up summary field isn't flexible enough for you, you can create your own automation rule to count up any records you like and then update Salesforce records, or you can even use apps on the app exchange to help you with roll-ups as well.